Um, interesting mechanism here, which might be to do with the patent, which is a uh, centrifuge arrangement with the remains of a chain for connecting to this safety shutter. So if the mechanism stops for any reason, you know, if the projectionist drops dead from having breathing in all the carbon fumes, that will drop. Um, and that little chain should be connected. It could come over here and be connected to that nut and bolt there, which is why that's there. Or I suppose it could be connected to that hole there. So we'd have to see which gave it the correct throw to do the job. But that's really nice that that's there. Um, the gate opens without too much trouble. Which is good. That, mm, not sure about that. That's uh, the rack and pinion might have gone there. We need to look at that. Sprocket guard springs are still working, but need some treatment because they're only just working. To be under that's understood. Stand same. That one's a nice one. That's nice and strong still. And the beta. That clunking is just the safety shutter needs sorting out. But the beta down here, the shaft. Let me move that a bit. Is it the shaft? Seems to be very true. From just visually observing it there, which means that this machine can be made to work and project film and the framing let's have a look inside now here's the patent because it's marked there's a clue it's marked patent and the patent is to do with moving that bit as I turn the racking, that's clever, because what's happening is it's, it's varying the distance, because it's a beta movement machine, it's varying the size of the loop, or the distance of film, varying the distance, the amount of film between the beta and the take-up sprocket and that will alter the framing in the gate. So that's what it was all about in terms of the patent. Clever stuff, eh? So what would have happened is that this mechanism could be pulled along these two bars to this side and then that would mean that the slide lens, so the slide lens which was about here, would move across and would now be in front of the lantern and the light source. Now, the thing that's slightly puzzling here is that the slides would have been in a slide carrier here. And I think those springs would be better off Let's see if does that still it kind of does, yeah. So those springs will be better off there where they would spring the plate to grip the slide carrier. Unless I'm missing something very obvious. There we are. I ought to know that, shouldn't I really? Lantern, magic lantern and stuff. What else is there to say? I'm going to, I intend to um, build a, a stand, the legs and other bits that this needs. And also, possibly from um, laser cutting, I'll get some discs laser cut to make 
the old style spores because they're becoming very hard to find. And I think if I get some uh, mild steel disc cut, I can make a couple of spools. So with the stand, with the spools, maybe even with the electric motor working, is that original? I don't know. This bit here would probably have had is the screw fitting and it would have had a little oiling cup up here. There's an oil point here and that would have been obviously for the other side. Difficult to know why you would bring that oiling point all the way to here when you had easy access there. So for that and other reasons, for instance the pulley is fitted to the shaft very roughly with a piece of shim, a uh, piece of um, thin brass sheet and it's very roughly done which is just a recent thing and obviously then it moves the mechanism with that drive wheel but it would be good fun to have that going it may just be that originally that was in a different position slung under the um, slung under the frame anyway it's an old motor uh, will it work? Who knows? I'll try it out. If it doesn't, it's just decoration. But it's part of the history of the machine, certainly. What a nice thing, eh? Maybe destined for a museum when I've finished it. Don't know yet. Anyway, you won't see another one of these, probably. I've never seen one. I do know someone who's got something similar. Clever man, Mr. Can, inventor of the camatograph. Google it, very interesting. I've played around with one of those in the past, that was amazing. The next video will show me starting to take things apart as I clean it all up.